Hello everybody, my name is Arya from aoteams.com. In this video, I'm going to explain how to translate Genesis Child Theme into another language. So let's start by translating Genesis Framework first. To translate Genesis Framework, we can use a plugin called Genesis Translations. This plugin is developed by Ramkus de Vries, hope I'm spelling his name right. You can see all available languages that are packaged on the plugin. To use this plugin is extremely easy. All you need to do is just download the plugin, install the plugin, and then activate it via the admin dashboard. But for the child team itself, sometimes the language file is not available. So we can do it manually by ourselves by using a software called POEdit. You can download the software by visiting www.poedit.net slash download.php. Choose your platform or your operating system, download, and install it. After you install the program, let's pick up a child team that you want to translate it. In this case, I'm just going to translate AOShell for example. Now let's open AOShell folder and search file with an extension .po. If you don't find the file, just ask the developer who created the team. Now let's open .po file with poedit. As you can see in here, you will find a lot of available text that can be translated by you. Just for a quick example, I'm just going to show you how I translate the file into Indonesian translation, since Indonesia is my primary language. So this is how I translate the text. This is the source text, and this is where I put my translation. In addition, and just in case, if you find something like this, for example, this is an HTML tag. Make sure the HTML tag is in fact with your translation. Another special character that you might find is percent %s, like this one, and this is the translation, and then percent %d, like this one, and this is the translation. So basically, just make it sure all the special character and HTML tag in tag with your translation. So now, after we translate all the text in here, let's save the file by clicking File, Save As, Save It, depending on the ID of the language. To find out the ID of the language, we can go to codex.wordpress.org slash wordpress in your language. Each language have a unique ID that can be easily identified by WordPress. So after you save the file, Let's test your WordPress site installation, whether it's translated properly or not. To do this, especially for WordPress single installation, we must edit wpconfig.php at WordPress installation folder. Let's add the language ID at divine wplang, well, well basically just like this one. So after you save the file, let's go to the admin dashboard and refresh the page. And then check it out if the child theme is also translated. And Yep, the child team is also translated. Congratulations. Okay, I think that's all that I want to explain right now. If you have any question or suggestion, just send me a message. Last but not least, thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Arya from aoteams.com. I see you again. Bye-bye.